Alright, it's uh, been a long time since I've recorded any YouTube videos, actually I think a couple of years, if not more, um, but I recently discovered Cold Waters, which is sort of a redo of some sort of fundamental level of Red Storm Rising, a modern sub-warfare game that came out in 1988, which I remember playing eons ago. And after playing this a bit, um, I found it visually spectacular and gameplay really reminiscent of that old, very popular at the time, uh, modern sub-game. So I thought um, I'd just start a campaign and uh, see what happens. So there are two different campaigns. I want to do the 1984 so I can take the uh, Los Angeles class nuclear submarine out. So, start. Commander name Matthew. Yeah, that's uh. You know what? Let's do. Save. Um, save Matthew. There we go. Alright, so. Start. You get to pick which sub you can use, you know, different options, but. I am definitely sticking uh, with Los Angeles class. Well, I hit accept here. Can I assign command Los Angeles? Okay, SSN 711. All right, here it begins. What will Reaganism mean for us, for US foreign relations? Blah, 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 blah. Brezhnev's legacy, stagnation and paranoia. That's no good. Provoking the bear, is Reagan pushing too hard? Ah, that's no good. Pershing missiles deployed in West Germany. Soviets thought nuclear drill, Able Archer was real. And World War III begins. So, intelligence estimates estimates indicate that enemy Spetsnaz commandos will land from a submarine in the vicinity of Reykjavik, Reykjavik and uh, Keflavik in Iceland. Alright, so we have to destroy another submarine. Let's see here. Yep, I uh, don't need so many of those. Let's take a couple of those and cast off. Alright, so let's move north here. And uh, actually, let's try to intercept, intercept them in uh, the Norwegian Sea. Move around. I'm just pressing the left uh, mouse button, keeping it depressed. Um, when I get close, I'll switch the second mouse button, which slows down your sub. You definitely don't want to get into action moving fast because they will be able to hear you pretty quickly, and things will go sour. Uh, it must be this guy going through central Norwegian sea here so we'll just wait for him to get a little bit closer looks like he's gonna to try to take the Denmark Strait and I think I'll just engage him in open ocean right here we go we're at 150 feet heading is 150 strong thermal layer overcast moderate breeze moderate surface duct Speed is 10 knots, so all hands. Alright, so the first thing I like doing, Shift S for ultra quiet running. And. Alright, let's see here. Gonna, next thing, ah, we are below the duct layer. We have one contact. It's deep out here. Alright, mini map over here. Firing solution is 16%. So I'm going to continue at this course. I like games where you just 
play methodically, slowly plan things out instead of rushing into chaos. Okay, Sierra 2, 23% firing solution. We will just continue this course for another half a minute and uh, then change direction 90 degrees. That'll give two different vectors from which we're collecting sound information. Um, I do not like using active sonar. Moments seem to be about eight, a little less than eight uh, kill yards. Nine, four, seven, eight, forty percent. I also like to use passive on my. We can set it for active, but um, passive homing. Nine percent. All right, now let's. My rudder. Starboard. Slowly turning here. So I usually don't cover a lot of distance um, while I'm attacking. I prefer to move slow and quiet unless uh, there's a torpedo after me, which in uh, case I do crazy evasive maneuvering stuff. and you are what? 45% see here turning, turning, turning I think I want to go down a, a little bit lower Planes down a bit. Uh, it's not. It is uh, a little windy out there. You can see the waves. All right, let's level it out now. Stay at this course for about a minute. <coughs> Forty-five percent, fifty-one percent. All right. So, uh, unless you get close to or at 95% firing solution, the enemy boat or ship or whatever is, is not actually rendered in the game. So this is, you know, where you see these two, Sierra 1, Sierra 2, that's where at the moment, given the information we have, the computer thinks that the enemy subs are located. Alright, 60% almost. 50%. So actually, um, this sh this contact here is directly behind us. Not directly, but it's, you know, 100, 180 degrees. And there is a bit of a um, blind spot because of the engines moving. So I think, well, that's why this firing solution is improving. Ah, so now we have direction. We have bearing 145. Okay. 66%, this guy's 55%. Ah, alright, that's... Don't like the sound of pinging. Ah, he's pinging us, alright. Um, 71%, they know I'm here. So what I'm going to do is... Set the first torpedo out quietly. That one's the other one's pinging me too. I'm gonna greet them with a couple torpedoes here. Move slowly, make sure the wire wires don't break, and get them dancing. Alright. I'll stay quiet, stay quiet. Ah, the wire ah, both wires broke. Oh well. Still... Wire break with... yeah, oh well. So I won't be able to manually guide them in... ah! Foxtrot already! So we know who he is, definitely. 74%. Ah! I have not been checking signatures here. So we know... so... oh, oh, oh! Look at that! Look at that! We have incoming torpedo. 
from them. So let's see. Coming in from this side, we have incoming torpedo. Incoming torpedo, that's okay, that's okay. So looks like our torpedo is already locking on. We do not have... Ah, there he is. He's already... Look at that, look at that. Okay, so let's uh, zoom in here a little bit because I'll be uh, dancing with torpedo in a moment. It's still going slow. Still going slow. Um... Wait for that torpedo to get a little bit close. They know where I am basically at this point, so won't mind if my engines start, um, my propeller starts cavitating. All right, now he's coming in close. When he gets a little bit closer, conditions see where I am. He gets a little bit closer. Okay, I'm going to start ramping up my speed here and start doing evasive measures. Look at me cavitating there. Yeah. I'm going to turn into him, full rudder, starboard, and then down. We can definitely go down. All, and this should allow me to... See, I'm making lots of noise now, but they know where I am. This should allow me to miss this guy with this really hard turn. Yep. There we do go. Ah. Now, quickly, turn the other way. Do this way. Making lots of noise. Ah, you know what? I'll have to turn into him. Turn into him again. We can go down lower. Ah, look at them. They're also making lots of noise, making evasive maneuvers, trying to get away from me. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Level out. So we're going basically opposite way. He is... Now look. All right. Ah. Both down. Both of them have been taken out. Let's, let's see here. Let's see here. Ah, that's the enemy. That's, that's, that's the enemy. Uh screw right there. Looks like both have been sunk. Nice. Uh, that's... yep. He still doesn't see me. Ah, look at that. Beautiful sight. Both hit. Alright, I can... I don't need to be moving this fast at this point. I can slow down. A little bit. Go to silent running. Eventually, he's going to run out of juice and self-detonate. Alright. I think in most Spetsnaz uh, insertions, it's only two boats. One or two boats that they will send. Alright, let's level this out here a bit. So, that's probably everything. Now, we just have to wait for... Yeah, no vessels nearby. So we just have to wait for that guy to run out of juice and detonate himself. Ha! Bottom of the ocean. Right. And there you are. Look at that beautiful sight. Bottom of the ocean. Back to me. Definitely run out. Uh, let's speed up time a little bit. Eventually, yeah, it's just going in a circle. So, um, yeah, this is basically what much gameplay this is like. Often, I've noticed I can manage to say to stay uh, stealthy enough that they won't even fire at me. They won't realize exactly where I am. Um, this, I might as well reload. That's going to take me out of ultra quiet, but I'm still pretty quiet here. Um, it's also why I don't like using missiles very often, because they'll be able to spot immediately where it came out, and they're going to... Ah, alright, so he, he self-detonated already. Excellent. So I'll just wait for these th um, two to load up. Though I don't know what my next mission will be, so let's load... Uh, 
on these anti-ship missiles just in case. Oh, I love these views and the music. It's really uh, really adds to the ambiance. Right, tube one is about to load, and tube three is loading next. Eh, let's go to surface here. Well, not surface, but get up a little bit higher. Now, look at here, 88 decibels, you can see her ambient noise, so it's pretty quiet, relatively quiet, which is, I think, why they were able to hear me so quickly, catch where I was. <coughs> I've been in, um, in games where the ocean, because of a storm or whatever, it's really loud, and they could be right next to you and you won't know, and they won't necessarily know that you're there either. All right, let's level out here a bit. All right, so that's loaded. Um, uh, I think at this point I will leave combat. Both sunk, Victor 1 and Foxtrot. Excellent performance, locating and eliminating enemy submarines, transporting Spetsnaz commandos. Await further orders on the downlink. Red sub sunk, Pentagon today revealed that several Soviet submarines attempting an incursion had been destroyed. All right, here's the next one. I think I will save this next mission for another video. But intelligence, sort of pattern of movements on enemy at sea replenishment tankers. So basically, I have to take down replenishment ships that will be attacking um, surface assets. Small enemy force, including one or two of these ships, expect to sail from Archangelsk momentarily for a rendezvous somewhere in Norwegian Sea. Okay, um, I'm not very far away from that. But I think I will save that for another video.